Got him. Oh, shit. Yeah, guys, that just happened. At least I dove after it pretty gracefully. Ah, uh, maybe not. Let's see if slow motion makes it look any better. Hey, that's pretty graceful. You gotta give it to me. At the end of the day, I'm still the one who got the last laugh. He pulled the rod out of my hand. Yep. <laughs> that has never happened before. That was insane. Let me land this fish from over here. Not even that big. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen. I jumped at my rod so fast. <laughs> like no question going in after the rod. <laughs> is he even like worth jumping up obviously? But how big is he? I mean he's a keeper. He's probably only 22 inches. Oh, I, I don't know what happened, but yeah, he pulled my rod out of my hand. No, I saw him hit, and then he, he changed directions. He went under the yak, and he pulled so hard under the yak, the rod just slipped right out of my hand. <laughs> and I lost my croc. No, you did not. It's floating away. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, my croc's getting away. Not even that big, just made the... He's not even that big. He just made the right movement on me. Got leverage and pulled that rod straight out of my hand. That was me. Alright guys, that is a memorable fish for sure. <laughs> to say the least. Oh, man. Cora's tr whole trip was made just right there. That's it. That's all she needed to see was me have to go for a swim. Alright, let's get him back. Man, he was ready to go. Oh, I'm a mess now. What? I said, oh, I'm a mess now. That was crazy. Dude, he made the right movement at the right time. I mean, I know exactly what happened, too. He was pulling down and came at me, and he pulled straight under the kayak. And when he did that, the rod just popped up and straight down out of my hands. Check the replay. Oh, shit! No, that's how it happened. That's exactly what happened. He pulled down, 
and I mean, I thought he was going to break my rod. He went, I mean, he made the hardest run straight under the yak and just boop, popped the rod right out of my hand. So funny. How, how far away were you? How, what did you even think was going on? <laughs> just, well, I saw you fighting the fish and then you didn't have the rod in your hand anymore. <laughs> I went straight in and after the rod. jumped in like Shiner went jump in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh. I went straight in. I mean, it came out, I went straight in and started searching. That was so funny. I'm just going to take a break. Now, go, hey, Cora, see that cut and that false current? Right there? Yeah, go cast that a bunch. There's going to there's gonna be fish holding on it. And she got this doormat of a flounder, but didn't have her camera on. What a shame. You know, it is a little bit embarrassing how big that fish was. He definitely wasn't a big redfish by any stretch of the imagination. He was a keeper though, so um, he just made the right run at the right time and caught me off guard. He ran right under the kayak like they tend to do. The rod hit the kayak and jolted it out of my hands. Luckily, I was able to get the rod back and land the fish and I think it made for some pretty good footage. I hope you guys got a good laugh out of the video. I know I did. Uh, but after that happens, if it does happen to you, if you dip your reel at all, you have to take it apart and clean it or your reel will get ruined. So I already cleaned the reel. Uh, and if it ever happens to you, go ahead and clean your reel afterwards. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. That would be much appreciated. If you're new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for continued fishing content. And I'll see you guys next time.